It was a peaceful environment when the NBC team arrived at the farm this morning. But footage obtained from the Namibia press agency indicates that the farm was a battlefield yesterday and this morning. Addressing the media conference in the capital today, Major General James T. V. said the misunderstanding started yesterday afternoon after three of the liberation struggle kids went to collect firewood, as they always do. It is alleged that the owner of the plot drove his vehicle towards them, bumped and injured one of them. The two who were not injured then went to alert others in the camp and armed with pangas and stones went to confront the plot owner. Upon the arrival at the farmhouse, the homestead, the owner of the plot came out to talk to the children of the liberation struggle, but they allegedly attacked the plot owner and one of his sons sustained head injuries. The neighborhood watch in the area turned up to remedy the situation. However, this became complicated as the group of the children of the liberation struggle became more aggressive. This morning, the situation turned tense again after the group decided to block the gravel road between their camp and the private plot. They demanded that the police escort them inside the residential area to collect their cell phones, sandals and other properties which they claimed were still there. This forced the police to use tear gas to disperse them. However, Major General Chivi said an intensive police investigation is underway and so far no arrests have been made. We would like to warn that nobody should take the law into their own hands and should anything happens. that may disturb peace and order, they should report it immediately to the Namibian police force. The police assured residents of Brackwater that the situation is under control as the group are back in their camp and the police will continue to monitor them. Salomo Tenga, NBC News, Vendor.